The 13th Lumiere Festival has begun at the Alto Tony Gonier in Lyon. Many famous faces were at the opening on Saturday. Guests will present their favourite films and their own latest releases. Maggie Gyllenhaal will introduce her first feature film, The Lost Daughter, based on the novel by Elana Ferrin. I kind of gave myself a film education with so many old films that I hadn't seen before um, and was really inspired by them. It's funny, I thought I would do it before I started shooting, but mostly really I was watching many, many films while I was editing and so inspired by them, so grateful for what came before me. This is my first time at the festival here in Lyon. It's a great honor. I'm a film buff. I grew up, uh, we're going to watch Buster Keaton in an hour, you know, I love silent cinema. But I also love the fact that we are invited as present day modern filmmakers to be a part of this. And uh, so I'm very grateful that Thierry invited me. It's a festival that talks about the past, the present and the future, she says. And that's what we all want to have, right? It's my third time at the Festival Lumiere and I'm always very happy to be here because it's a festival of love for cinema. It's great to have so many people in a room with emotion. It's crazy, he says. Of course, we have to gather in large numbers not to stay at home all our lives, don't we? Cinema is immortal, my friend, he says. The opening night was held in front of more than 5,000 people with a special tribute to Bertrand Tavernier, director and president of the Institut Lumière, which organizes the festival. Tavernier passed away a few months ago. It was a hugely festive atmosphere after a cutback version last year due to the COVID pandemic. A sense of great celebration when it was declared open. The Lumière Festival has opened for a great week of cinema in all its forms, styles, genres and periods. Hundreds of screenings, meetings and guests to celebrate the love of the seventh art in the city of the Lumière Brothers. And to kick off the festival with a bang, the organizers have chosen Buster Keaton's The Cameraman, a timeless classic that will delight young and old alike.